<clears throat> Welcome back to the progress for that with your boy John. I'm back with another video. If I get to an 82, but the God of all God's right now, God's open doors and pay way for all you want for you and Jesus all my pay in today's video. I want to apologize for my post on my community tab earlier. I'm just frustrated, bro. And um I apologize for showing my frustration on my channel. She kept that to myself, but yeah, I apologize to y'all over. But yeah, let's get right to today's video though. Got some leaks, man. Uh some 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 schedule leaks. You know, schedule come out at eight o'clock tonight. I will be live on the channel at eight PM Eastern Standard Time. So I the full schedule. But we got some leaks. Got four games lead by JP Finley and also Kevin Sheehan. We're gonna talk about this man. Got the got the Bears, the Jets on Primetime football. And we got some other news about when we played the Dallas Cowboys. So we're gonna get right into today's video and the leaks that were put on Twitter. By JP Finley and Kevin Sheehan. And we'll talk about them in, in slightly brief detail. So let's get started with the first one. Washington will close the season at home versus the Dallas Cowgirls in week 18. I wanted to play the Eagles. We played the Cowboys last year on week 18. We played the Giants the week before that in week 18. And we played the Eagles a year before that in Week 18. So I was hoping to play the Eagles again in Week 18, like 2020. But instead, we're playing the Cowboys. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, if the game doesn't matter, it'll be a 1 o'clock game. If it matters, it'll be an eight twenty game or whatever. We don't know how the season's going to go. So I can't really say what time this game will be played. But if we suck, this game is going to definitely be a 1 o'clock game. But if we're actually competing for a playoff spot, this game will be definitely be a 425 kickoff, 820 kickoff, Sunday night football, something like that. But, yeah, uh, that still sucks. So I don't really care. We'll probably beat them anyway. Next, want some prime time at FedEx? Commanders will host the Bears Thursday night football in week five. Another early Thursday night game versus the freaking Bears. Why do they keep having just copycat schedules, bro? This is kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie, like, I was hoping for maybe the Jets on prime time, or I was kind of hoping for the Bills, like week three. <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Sorry, y'all. I mean, yeah, I was hoping for the Bills week three, uh, the Jets in like week 10 or something. Uh, the Bears, the, I mean, the Bears are a lot better football team than they were last year when they went 3 and 14, but really? Really? You, you, you Y'all think people want to see this? I don't want to see this. I'm a Commanders fan. I don't want to see this. Whatever. So another Thursday night football game. Uh, I think most teams get one a year. So uh, we'll see how this goes. I think the Bears are a much improved football team. It's gonna be a lot tougher game than it was last year, and we barely won that one. Well, also Carson Wentz broke his freaking finger, but you know whatever. But Sam Howell's under, uh, under the uh, under the center this time, and they got a lot better on their roster because of the Bears. So this should be low key a fun one to be honest. Stop thinking about it. Sources tell me Christmas Eve the Commanders will play the the Jets in the Meadowlands at 1 p.m. This is going to be the most interesting game I've seen league so far. I mean, wow! Aaron Rodgers now a Jet. We got to play Aaron Rodgers again. We did last year again. <laughs> this time, we a lot better weapons. Around the same level offensive line play, probably probably a little less potent. Uh, than the Packers, but a lot better weaponry. <laughs> Brees Hall, Garrett Wilson, Tyler Conklin, CJ Uzama. Yeah. Uh, Corey Davis. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be very interesting. They have someone to receive a trade Elijah Moore away. And they picked up Alan Lazard, his favorite little buddy from Green Bay. So this is going to be a very fun game. I don't know how this one's going to go either, but the Jets are going to be very formidable. And their defense is nasty. So, might be a long day for the Commanders here. Finally, here's the big one. Commanders at Cowboys on Thanksgiving. Ain't that a B-I-T-C you-know-what? Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Back on Thanksgiving again. Last time we on Thanksgiving, we gave the Cowboys a nice, sound butt whooping. But it was no Dak Prescott. <laughs> it was Andy Dalton. <laughs> so... This is going to be very spicy. I really don't know how this one's going to go either. This one could very, very well be insanity. But I will say this. It's always good to see Washington Dallas on Thanksgiving, though. 
You can never go wrong with it. I think it's always a good matchup. It's always a fun game to watch, to be honest with you. And I'm looking forward to it. So, uh, unfortunately, he's at Dallas again. I'm tired of going to Dallas on Thanksgiving. Can they just give us a home game? Gosh. Keep sending us to Dallas. Like, we want to keep going to Dallas all the time. That's what do for me. Like, comment, subscribe. Also, go follow us on the daily on Instagram. And comment your thoughts on this video. Have a great one. Be safe. Stay healthy. Stay blessed. Next one. Peace on phone up.